What's up, y'all? What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, divas? Your girl is back. It's real talk. I'm not really sure if it's going to be up on a Wednesday or a Thursday because, you know, a girl has orientation this week, okay? You know, I started my new job and um, so far, so good. You know what I'm saying? So today is my second day. Um, the things that we are talking about in orientation, I just really wish they could have put it in a booklet and allowed that to read, allowed us to read it on our own instead of sitting there for like six, seven hours. But it's still, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? So it's different departments that are at this orientation. And once this particular particular orientation is over, which is Friday, then we'll go to our departments where we're going to do our actual training. So, so far, so good. You know, I was getting a little bit tired because, you know, it's just, you know, when you sit and you're just staring at something for so long, your eyes get heavy. So that's how I was feeling. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, probably like about 10, 15 of us in, in the training orientation, which is cool. It's not a lot of people. Um, the first day they bought us lunch or they ordered us lunch, which was some Quizno sandwiches. Still decent. Really nice health center. They have about nine of them out here. And so, you know, that's more of my speed because that's what I used to do in New York. I used to work for Fidelis Healthcare through Medicaid for 12 years. So, you know, this is more or less my speed, but I'm really happy because I get to work from home this time and I just get to help patients schedule, you know, schedule appointments, check on their pharmaceutical needs, speak with doctors. So much easier. I can stay from home. So I can't wait till that process begins and hopefully it will be less than three months. But girl, let me tell y'all. So yesterday when I started, you know, I had to get four vaccines because I hadn't had those. You know, I had to get the measles and the mumps because I'm not immune to it anymore. However, I didn't think the measles and mumps are still out, but I got that. I got a new COVID shot. I haven't had a COVID shot in like over a year. So I did say I would I would get it because I ain't trying to get sick. Okay. I got a hepatitis shot and um, a tetanus shot. Now the one, four shot. The one that hurts the most is the COVID shot. Y'all see that? Do y'all see that? It's like red and it's so sore right there. I swear you guys, I felt so nauseous last night and I felt like I was getting sick. Like I had the chills and I know it was from the shot because I was fine all day. And then I started feeling like I had flu-like symptoms. Mind you, I had a flu shot back in like September and then I caught the flu back in December. So this was the second time in my life that I had the flu, but this is the first time that I ever had a shot because last year in March when I had the flu, girl, I was sick for like a month or better. So I don't want to go through that no more. So this year I was sick for like four days. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Okay. But I hope y'all are all having like a really great day. You know, did I make any friends? I'm not there to make friends at the job. Do I speak to people? I surely do. You know, I'll be, I'm, I'm kind. I'm courteous. You know, I treat people as I would want to be treated. However, you know, there's always these ones at the job that are pick me's I don't know if that's what you guys would call them, but there's this one particular lady who's been there who hasn't been there in over a year. Like she quit and she decided to come back, but she's still part of the orientation. Like you, you're a new hire. Please tell me why she keeps cutting off the presenters or pre presentation people that's presenting the, you know, the documents and she's just yapping and running her mouth and putting her two cents in it. Like, girl, please shut the F up. Shut the F up. And then when I ask the questions on several different occasions, I'm asking it to the teacher, right? whoever presenting. Did I ask you or did I ask the presenter? You know, and we sitting across from each other. So I just look and then I just commence to ask my question again because I would like, for the, I ask the question to the presenter, not to you. You worked here, but you don't know more. You just came back. I'm just saying. But anyway, I want to keep it buck with y'all real quick. Real quick. I'm not about to make this about me, but I'm going to just keep it a buck with y'all. So y'all know I've been living out here 10 years. I'm going to be 50 in June. And out of the 10 years that I've lived here, I've had a few friends, numerous friends, five to be exact. And I started feeling like, am I the common denominator because I just don't keep friends? And it's not even that I don't keep friends, but I feel like my tolerance level is like at zero. I just don't think that it's cool to disrespect somebody. And I'm going to just keep it a buck with y'all. Some of these females out here that are like in my age bracket, they are on some weird shit. Like I've never seen females at my age act the way they do. Back home in New York City, they, they didn't act like this. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to dismiss me and think that you're going to dismiss and son me. And I have to tell you about yourself. So what I was saying, I feel like a lot of women out here in my age group, they be on some weird shit. And I don't know what it is, but they just seem very immature. Um, they feel like they can just dismiss you and talk to you any type of way because you are their friend. And friends don't do friends like that. And I just feel like this, like sometimes it's best to just ro ride out solo. And I think that that's what I'm gonna continue to do because I don't have the tolerance nor the patience for the disrespect to me. And with that being said, you just gotta know your place and you gotta know to stay in your lane. And sometimes you just gotta let people go, especially when they think you, you think that you're friends. And I was talking about this last week, like my, my situation is nowhere like that with the young lady who borrowed the money and didn't wanna pay it back and they got into a fight. No, hell no, okay? Cause I'm not loaning out $1,500 for anybody's trip. Now, if I wanna take you on a trip with me, that means I'm paying for you. But if I loan you, you borrow, you got to give it back. But I just feel like sometimes it's best to ride out solo because you really don't know what a person's true agenda is until you find out. And sometimes it just be too late. And I get that everybody has like a bad day or a bad week or what have you, but it's just a way about going about things to people, how you present yourself, how you present your situation, how you present things in general. Like you just cannot step to me and just disrespect me 
in a message and feel like it's okay or block me when you feel like block me because that's just what you want to do like and I didn't do anything to you I don't I don't like shit like that I feel like that's just childish so you know I'm gonna just be rolling solo okay I feel like I've had enough friendships to know that some of these women out here in Arizona y'all be on a whole different level like women in the east side east coast they don't be acting like this like all my friends back in NYC we still friends I still have friends in NYC never in my life have I experienced anything the way I've experienced out here okay like seriously like my one friend we, she and I was good friends for some years and we only became friends because hi yeah but hold on guys that's all right you good all right yeah what you doing like overtime Yes, I was doing all the time. So as I was saying, guys, you know, Pancake had to come in and say hi to everybody. Say hi. Tell them how much you miss your mommy during the daytime and your mommy misses you. So as I was saying, like my, my one friend, we were friends for years. Um, and this is through Mumsy because Mumsy and her daughter were best of friends. So we were friends for years, okay? And Mumsy and her, her, her daughter had a fallout. And it wasn't really anything like major like that. But basically, it was Mumsy's 16 now, so it was when Mumsy was 14. Her friend had a boyfriend, and she just kind of, like, ghosted Mumsy. So Mumsy had to speak to her about it, and she still was ghosting her. So she was basically giving Mumsy the cold shoulder. She would see her and act like she didn't see her because she got this new boyfriend. So Mumsy distanced herself, and she said, I don't have time for that. She don't even need a boyfriend. We're only 14, which is true. Like, what 14-year-old needs a boyfriend? So um, Mumsy just disassociated herself with her. And then finally, they broke up, and I guess she wanted to be Mumsy's friend again, but Mumsy just was like, nope. So being that Mumsy wasn't her daughter's friend anymore. She decided not to speak to me anymore. And I found this out the hard way because I kept calling and texting and you was ignoring me. So then I realized, okay, yeah. So I don't know. Women out here be on some weird shit when it comes to friendships and they just act like a bunch of kindergartners. And that's okay too. You do what you want. But I just feel like, you know what? I'm going to just do what I need to do. I'm going to get money. I'm going to get to the bags. Not bag. Bags. Floral, honey. I'm going to need more than one. Okay, like I've been doing. And I'm going to just do me. You know what I mean? I'm going to work this job. And I'm going to use this money to, to, you know, pay my bills and my other money. I'm going to just keep stacking it like I've been doing over the years. And that's the main reason why I wanted a job is because I didn't want to keep using my money. I wanted to use somebody else's money. And even though this is my money, I just felt like, you know what? This is for when I get old and I can't work no more. I don't want to keep using that. So I'm going to use this and we just going, you know, we're going to see how it goes. Plus, it's kind of cool to be able to interact with people and maybe I'll change the department that I'm in. Hopefully, if I stay with the job, meaning my background check. But anyway, other than that, you know, the orientation is okay. They have some really great benefits and it's room for growth, which I do like. Um, Yeah, we'll see how it goes, okay? But yeah, I'm just going to be, I'm going to be riding out solo because I don't have time for nobody's foolish shit, okay? I'm too old. I'm about to be 50 years old. We're not about to, we just not about to do certain things at a certain age. I think it's time when you just mature and just, just stop. Just, just have to stop. But you know, I got me a drink today. This is some brisk blood orange juice with some vodka in it. So anyway, this this email is something else here. I don't I don't honestly this email that was sent to me, I really don't know how I'm going to respond with this one. And and cool, it was a guy, it was a man that um emailed me and I don't really know to be honest with you how I'm going to respond to this after reading it. But I'm pretty sure that you guys can put your suggestions in the comments. And we're not going to make this really long, okay? Hi, April. Thank you so much for bringing back Real Talk. Real Talk was one of my favorites in your channel. I'm not really into wigs, but I love your Real Talk. I love an opinionated woman. My name is Raymond, and I've been a subscriber of your channel forever. So I guess you see why, I, why, why I'm not into wigs, as I am a man. I don't know, Raymond, because there's lots of men that like wigs, okay? Mm. April, I need a favor or any advice from you and other women on this panel. I have been with my lady for 17 years. We are not married, and please don't judge me for not marrying her. I love my lady so much, but I'm having a dilemma. Like I said, we've been together for 17 years. And over the years, 
she has changed body wise. We have two kids with one another, ages 15 and 10. She doesn't want any more kids, she said, because they're too expensive. I can agree with her on that. April, my lady has put on a significant amount of weight within the past few years, and I just don't know how to tell her she's becoming overweight. It's not the weight, but also the body odor that comes with it. You can make a name up for her if you want. She has gained about 70 to 100 pounds wearing a size 3X. I find her weight to be the reason of the smell, and the smell is down there. She bathes regularly, like in the evenings, never morning because she's always in a rush for work. Our sex life ain't what it used to be due to her weight and smell, and I don't try to push up on her because I don't know what to say. Like, what do you say to your lady if she's overweight and has a smell? I want to marry her, but I want her to lose some weight first. Am I wrong for feeling this way towards her? How would you tell someone they are overweight and have an odor? No disrespect to any woman. I just need help, and I don't want to offend my lady. Thank you, Raymond. So at least his email wasn't so long. He got right to the point. He said she smell, she's overweight. He don't know how to address it. How do you tell somebody they overweight and y'all in a relationship? Like, I mean, I could tell somebody they overweight if I don't like her and uh, we have an altercation. I'll call you a fat bitch in a second, okay? I'm fat bitch, so I'm going to call you one too. I, I know what I am, so I have a right to call you that. But how do you tell someone that you really care about that they need to lose some weight and that they have an odor down there. Like, I don't, I don't, now he's saying he don't, Raymond's saying he don't want to marry her because she's overweight. First of all, that's not really a reason to not want to marry somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you love her and y'all been together for 17 years, don't try to use her weight as an excuse not to marry her. Just say you're not ready or you're a broke ass ninja. Let's just say that, okay? Or you just don't want to get married. But don't try to use her weight as an excuse not to marry her because people's body type changes over the years. As we get older, our body type changes. Look at me. I done put on at least like 50 pounds, 40 pounds from all the weight that I had lost. And then I put it on. I had my surgery, my hysterectomy. It did not help me in any way, shape, or form from keeping the weight off, okay? So as we get older and we're older women, we tend to gain weight. And that's okay. There's a way to go about allowing somebody or letting someone know, maybe in a healthy regimen. Now, she's about to be wearing, or she does wear a size 3X. But first of all, I don't really even know, is that a true 3X? Because where's she getting her clothes from? Because if she getting her clothes from she in, she probably really wear a 2X in real life. Because I wear a 2X on she in, but in real life, I wear a 1X. So we don't really know. But he's saying she put on 70 to 100 pounds. Now, that's like almost a whole another person. I'm not disrespecting her in any type of way. But if you really care about this woman, Raymond, then maybe you should have a sit down and talk to her. There's a way to go about telling someone that they need to lose a little bit of weight. Maybe you should throw in there about your health concerns for her. But don't let her know, well, I'm not marrying you until you lose weight. Like, who the fuck are you? Okay? Like, we be having all these high expectations for another person. But what do you think? Maybe she don't want to marry your ass neither. Now, I'm not trying to come at you, Raymond, but I just feel like this. To not want to marry somebody because they're a certain weight, that says a lot about you as a person. Especially if you've been with her for 17 years. That makes me feel like you vain, you stuck up, you materialistic, you about with, with looks, and you're not really about it with the true heart thing. Now, see, look, I don't give a damn if you're a fat motherfucker. I don't really care, okay? But as long as your hygiene is good and you smell good, and that's all that matters. Weight is, everybody's different. Weight is weight. Everybody's different. We don't all have to be one particular size. That's what a lot of people fail to realize. They be quick, y'all thin girls be quick to call somebody a fat bitch that wear like a size 12 or 14 or a 16 like myself. And you can call me a fat bitch all you want. I really don't give a shit, okay? However, there's always this stereotype of thin people, thin people, thin people. Everybody is different in this world. We all come in different shapes, sizes, colors, sexual orientations. We are all different in this world. And we don't all have to stick to being the same size. That's why they make different sizes. So my fat ass can get in the same shit that your skinny ass can get in. Now, if you don't want to marry her, that's one thing. But don't try to use her weight as an excuse. Now, if you don't want to marry her because her cootie cat is funky, then honey, you need to say something. It might be the weight. It might be something that she's eating. Maybe she, like you said, she don't take a shower in the morning time. She take it in the evening. So she done sweat it. Listen, let me tell you something. We as big girls, we got we got back rows. We got fupa rows. We got sweat. Wet. We are all type of things and not even just big girls, okay? But thin girls too. Everybody's body has a body odor. That doesn't mean that we are, I'm not going to marry you because you stink ass hoe. No, I'm not going to marry you because I don't feel like it. Is that what it is really, Raymond? This is my thing. If you really, really care for her, Raymond, then I would tell her. But there's a way to go about shit. Now, if your cootie cat stink, don't just come out and say, girl, your pussy stink. Because that's really disheartening. It's kind of disrespectful and it may hurt her feelings. I don't know about y'all, but I do not want anybody to ever have to tell me that my cootie cat stink. I don't know how I would feel. I don't know how I would take that. Like, I probably would just want to go crawl in a corner and just die and somebody was to say to me girl your pussy stank like could you imagine somebody telling you that so i think there's another way about going about it maybe if you purchase certain things for her down there area maybe and just put them in the bathroom for her maybe that'll help with the smell i do know that there's this one particular soap that my daughter told me about and i'm just looking at it over here um i'll have to show it to you guys um it's called hold on i'll, I'll get it for you guys so listen my daughter told me about this soap because she found it on TikTok. You know these young people, they're always finding shit on TikTok, okay? They believe everything on TikTok. But this was like a really great purchase. So it's this soap, and I'm not really sure how do you pronounce it. It's called 
Hybicleanse, I think that's how you pronounce it. I just put it in one of my empty little foam bottles. You could buy it as a pump foam, or you could buy it as a bigger bottle. Now, this is what the hospitals use, the surgeons use, and things of that nature. They want you to wash with it. There was this big girl, she was saying she uses this in her pits, her cooter booter, you know, her cootie cat, and her fupa area. And it keeps the sweat and the smell away all day. So I've been using this, and it really does work like that. Like, it really does work in those areas. You don't have any type of sweaty stench. And I don't know about y'all, but that's the one thing that I'd be worried about because I don't want nobody smelling me, and I damn sure don't want to smell myself. I'm always paranoid about my cootie cat oh, I just want it to smell good I just, you know I just do okay I don't know about anybody else but I just do so maybe you can look on Amazon and get her this sometimes we might have issues that we we don't really know about maybe she has like some type of vaginal infection that she's not really really aware of and there sometimes aren't any symptoms or like you said she only bathes in the evening so she's a bigger person so she's sweating throughout the day I would highly suggest you ordering some of this for her and along with some other nice little hygiene um, items and just putting them alongside the shower for her or in a basket and letting her know I was thinking about you and I was thinking about how beautiful you are. I don't know. Just make up something, but don't come out bluntly and say her cootie cat stink, okay? Because you might be alone, okay? We all go through shit. Now, I'm pretty sure her cootie cat didn't been stink because if she did have a cootie cat that stank for years, for 17 years, you wouldn't have had no babies with her. You wouldn't have been with her this long. But here's the thing. You worried about her losing weight. You don't want to marry her until you until she lose weight. But what if she says something kind of like that about your ass? What if she says, well, I'm not, I don't want to marry him until he looked better. Now, unfortunately, you can't change that. You are who you are. That's your face. It's going to be on your shoulders for the rest of your life, okay? But to tell me that you don't want to marry her until she loses weight, that's kind of vain. And I think that's kind of like, you know, now you being like the rest of the stereotypes. When you love somebody, you love them for who you are, or who they are, rather. Excuse me. You love them for who they are. We are all different, and we all come in different sizes, okay? And it's okay to be a certain size. There's somebody for everybody out there. And I guarantee you, Raymond, if you don't want her, somebody else surely will, okay? Sooner or later, okay? And yeah, kids are expensive. I just really honestly feel like you need to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with her. Not with me talking about her cootie cat thing, but there is a certain way to go about it. Purchase some things for her and put them in a nice little basket and say, I was thinking about you and I thought you would like these items for your hygiene. And if you really want her to lose weight, then why don't you start buying some healthier foods and tell her we're going to go on walks together and we're going to watch how we eat together. Sometimes you have to do things as a together thing. I'm pretty sure that Raymond isn't like big because he's complaining about her waist size, but it would be funny if Raymond was a big guy and he was complaining about her size, right? It would be like so funny because he really didn't say what he was. He really didn't say what size he was. But I just find like it's very vain to say, well, I'm not marrying somebody because they big or they, they, they gain weight. I don't know about y'all, but uh, thick thighs save lives. You, you know the saying, thick thighs save lives. And I'm, listen, I'm not disrespecting nobody that's thinner than me, nobody that's wearing a size zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'm not disrespecting none of those, but I'd rather have a little bit of meat on my body versus being too thin. Okay, you know, because thick thighs say a lot. I like to fiddle it out. Like when I say fill it out, I like to fill those jeans out. Okay, honey, I need a little rump rump in the back. Do what it do. Okay, some people don't like all of that. Now, Raymond, I understand you care about her. I understand your sex life isn't all that. Some women, yeah, maybe they do need to wash twice a day in the morning, depending on what you're doing at night. Maybe y'all have some sexual intercourse, and that's why she smelled because that will that will reek in your body. So maybe that's what it is. But if it's just like a cootie cat, a bad smell, a sweaty smell, you have to realize she's been out all day. She's been wearing the same thing. She's been running errands. She's been working. Whatever she's doing throughout the day, she's doing it. But I just really suggest that, you know, you have like a really great one-on-one. -on -one. Talk to her. Don't come out your face and say how pussy stink. Okay, don't do that because that's disrespectful. But just let her know that, you know, I really think that you and I should eat better and healthier foods, and we are going to work on ourselves together. Okay, we're going to go on walks together. We're going to do meal preps together. We're going to do these things together. Because when you do and you allow that other person to do it on their own, it's not fun. And then it makes it look like this is what you want her to do because this is what you want, okay? Maybe she don't want to be a thin bitch, okay? You ever thought about that? I don't know about none of y'all, but I like my side. I mean, I, I'm not going to sit here and lie and say I like everything about my sides because I don't. The one thing that I hate about my size is that goddamn fupa. Everything else, the junk in the trunk and them thick thighs, honey, I likes, okay? I likes. But if I had to and I could wish upon a star and get rid of something, it would definitely be that fupa. Honey, listen, the rest of me is voluptuous and I like everything about me and <laughs> I ain't the only one. Okay. Yeah. I'm not really sure how old she is, Raymond. But maybe she's going through a hormonal imbalance. You ever, see, this is the problem with some men. They don't realize that we as women go through way too much shit in life. Like, first of all, we have to deal with all these bodily functions from menopause to hysterectomies to childbirth to periods to yeast infections to all kind of shit. And we also have to deal with ungrateful 
unappreciative ninjas. Okay, that just takes the cake to all of it, all right? So meanwhile, we're going through all these different body changes and we also have to do these different attitude changes from our so-called men who are supposed to love us. And I really just feel like this. When you're with someone and you really do love them for themselves, you have to take the good with the bad. Now, I'm not saying you gotta take a stinky cooch, but you can also help with her stinky cooch too. And if you feel like it's hindering your sex life, then like I said, make her a nice little basket and give her some nice little hygiene products. Sometimes things don't work out for all of us women. Some products are not for everyone. Sometimes these products can mess up our pH balance. It's a lot, it's a lot as we as women. And wait, yeah, we as women are very, very probably sometimes, I know me, I be like self-conscious about what I wear. Like I see women that are way bigger than me and they have so much confidence. They'll wear like crop tops and such. I just can't do it, I just cannot. But I love their confidence and sometimes I wish that I could be that confident within myself but then I guess because I was born in the 70s we were raised a little bit different so we were raised to be a little bit more discreet you know and there's nothing wrong with a crop top on a plus size lady but my confidence level is not there but I do appreciate those women who do have that confidence level because they got to be somebody out there representing for us you know what I'm saying like we we as women go through a lot in life and I just feel like you men really need to appreciate the fact that we are here and we are doing some of the things that you men should be doing and yeah sometimes you might get a little rusty sometimes you might get a little smelly, okay? But that doesn't mean that you take away from what we have going on. You've been with this lady for 17 effing years and you don't want to marry her because she's overweight. Now, he didn't say she was overweight for 17 fucking years, so here's the catcher. Hold on, let me see. He said, hold on, because let me see something. He said, he got a 15 year old and a 10 year old. So you've been with her for 17 years and you got two kids by her. Why didn't you been marry her before she even put the weight on? What the fuck was you waiting for? Like, who are you to kind of like demand, oh, she needs to lose weight? Maybe she don't want to marry your ass. You ever think about that? Like, I'm not really trying to come at you, Raymond, but you ever think that, yeah, maybe she just doesn't want to marry you. If she ain't bring it up and she didn't complain about it, maybe she just don't want to marry your ass. You ever think about that? Maybe you don't got what it got to make her satisfied enough to marry her. Because I know this, if I was with a man for 17 years, dude, you're going to have to marry me or we're going to have to do something. And then, then again, I'm the type of woman that I don't really want to be married again. I've been married already. I've been with the same person, that person for 23 years. I'm good. I don't I don't feel like I need a piece of paper to solidify anything because what's mine is motherfucking mine and I'm going to keep it that way, okay? And what's yours is mine too and we're going to keep it that way. But I, I really don't feel like I need a piece of paper to, you know, solidify anything. However, if I do marry someone, I would hope and hope that he would appreciate me for who I am. Ladies, this stuff is bomb right here. Amazon and it really does work. So if you got a fupa, honey, you don't want that fupa to smell because fupas do smell. Get you some of this. If you if you got bad pits, like underarm pit smell, then use it. Just wash with it. All you got to do is wash with it. It's not going to lather up that much, but if you put it in like a little pump thing or you buy the one that has a pump, or like I use with my pump, it'll foam up. It's not going to lather up, but it's going to foam up and you're going to wash. And I trust me when I tell you, your areas are going to stay clean all day. There's not going to be any type of smell. And I appreciate that. And like I said, they use this in the hospital, surgeons and everything like that. Tati put me on this. She loves TikTok. She would tell me all kind of shit on TikTok. Now, listen, I was born in the 70s. We don't we do not do that um, TikTok shit. We don't believe everything we see on TikTok. So when I hear about it from like young people, I'll be just like side eyeing and like, y'all believe any motherfucking thing. So when she told me about it, I was like, okay, let me see. Right? So it really does work. You know what I'm saying? It really does work. So maybe I would suggest buy her some nice little hygienic items and just put them in a nice little basket for her and just say, I want to do something special for you. And then also bring home some nice little healthy treats. So that way you two can do it together, not her. Because dude, who the fuck are you to demand somebody lose weight? You have to do this with her. It's a lot more funner when we do it together. And when you're not ridiculing and humiliating someone because of their weight, then it's a lot more fun. But I tell you this, you can never say that you don't want to marry somebody because of their weight. Because that becomes superficial of you. And who the fuck are you to demand somebody to lose weight to marry you? Like, let's be on some real shit. Who the fuck are you? Because she might not want to marry you, Raymond, because you lack some things. It might be lack of income, lack of strokes, who knows? Lack of finances. It could be all type of things, okay? So don't put it out there that it's just you, you, you. 17 years with somebody is a long time and you not marry them. But then again, like I said, I've been married um, and I feel like this, just because you marry somebody, they're not going to be a better person. They're not going to change. They're going to be the same person. But now you got a piece of paper. They're not going to change. They're going to be the same person. So I've been married and I've been divorced. And I just feel like it is what it is. But if you love someone, make the best of it. Speak with them. Do things together. And, that's, and ladies, look, leave your leave your comments down below for um, Raymond about what you would do. I, I go for walks every day. And I feel like that helps me. It also strengthens my legs. Now, listen, I know I ain't going to be no Instagram model. I ain't trying to be no motherfucking Instagram model. I just want to be in shape. Because if something pop off, I just want to be able to take off. Pew! I don't want to be the last man standing. Oh, excuse me. I do want to be the last man standing. But I don't want to be the last man left behind. Okay? I just want to be right there running past your ass when them zombies take heed. 
Okay. Oh, hold up. Before we even end this, who watched The Walking Dead? Because I know there's some Walking Dead fans out there. Who watched the new Rick and Michonne um, Walking Dead series? Now, it just started this Sunday. And I'm going to be honest with you. I love The Walking Dead. I love um, Daryl Dixon's spinoff series. I also love Maggie and Negan's spinoff series. And okay, yes, this is the first episode of Michonne and Rick's spinoff series. But goddamn, did he really just cut his fucking hand off on the first episode? And it kind of was dragging. So I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I'm going to have to pay better attention to it again tonight. I'm going to rewatch it. If you watch The Walking Dead, let me know your thoughts on the new series, the new spinoffs that they got going on. And leave Raymond your, your, your thoughts down below. Listen, at a certain age, like I said, we tend to put on weight. And I, you know something? I'm going to be honest. I look back at my older videos from like a few years ago, a couple years ago, and I just be like, damn, you was complaining then that you was fat and you really wasn't fat. I don't know. I say a lot that I have let myself go and I know I have, you know what I'm saying? But I accept who I am and I accept the fact that every day I wake up and God has blessed me to be able to wake up every day. Now, it's what I do with it. It's what I do with the extra weight that makes a difference. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like this. You have to love me for who the fuck I am. And if you don't like me for who I am, then I don't really know what to tell you. We all gain weight. It's a part of life. It's a life cycle. When you get a certain age, honey, it's harder to keep it off than it is, okay, to put it on. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, I remember those days when I was like 104 pounds, 102 pounds on my first baby. Okay, girl. Now I'm like the size of two Aprils, okay? But it is what it is. I will say this. I'm happy. Um, I don't smell. I'm respectable to people. You have to be honest with yourself. You have to do what's best for you, yourself, and your weight, your health, okay? And your hygiene. And I just feel like there's a time and a place for everything. And it's also the way you approach someone. So if your man or your woman's cootie cat is smelling, sometimes it's nice to get gifts and it might help. And it's also a time to talk to someone. Because I can't tell you what to say, Raymond, but I can tell you how to approach the situation. So on that note, you guys, you know, it is Real Talk Wednesday or whatever that is coming out. Okay, I'm so tired. I got a brand new desk from um, Amazon that I got to put together. It's a nice little glass L-shaped desk because, you know, I'm a happy working from home. So I'm going to have extra computer monitors. So I needed a bigger desk and I just really wanted it to match my room because the desk that I have is pink that my mom bought me. So I figured, you know what? It's glass with gold hardware so it's perfect because i've changed my entire room around not change it around but i've added some new things i've changed the color schemes and so forth so if you guys want like a little room um showcase whatever you want to call it then let me know i'll be more than happy to show you me and my dog pancakes room because it's me and hers okay but i love you all stay even and delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs the video up i'm gonna go downstairs and talk to my family i love you guys and i will see y'all in the next one help raymond out in the comments down below let him know what he should do i'm gonna finish off this drink and then i'm gonna just relax because girl i'm really tired i'm really really tired okay I'm really tired. I love you all.